Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and today I'm sharing the next um, video with you in a little mini video series that I've got going here in scrapping my daughter's fourth birthday party and I'm going to be using some various items from my stash and I have a lot of stash. So I'm going to be using that paper stack from Imaginese and um, if you're interested in watching the video where I made my 12 by 12 layout as sort of an introduction to this um, event that I'm documenting <coughs> excuse me I will leave that link for you down below so that you can just go and have a look at what I did there and as, as I said I used a lot of stash some Maggie Holmes and uh, some random stickers and so on so here I've got a, a 8 by 10 page protector it's a project life page protector and I am just going to be documenting that photo of my daughter. It's the morning of her birthday. <coughs> Excuse me. It's the morning of her birthday and she got her presents. And when she opened it, it was a big dollhouse and some lovely little dollies. And she is um, just holding the dolly up there. So you'll see there that I have cut my paper, um, my pattern paper, to 8 by 10. And I have cut the white paper that I am showing you that I stitched on there. I've cut that to 6 by 8. No, not 6 by 8. What is that? 6 by 8. It is 6 by 8. Yes, I've cut that to 6 by 8 just so it has a big border. And I really wanted to use that photo on the um, that specific photo. However, it was a little bit too big. So I'm going to cut off some negative space on the photo. Um, nothing much that, um, that won't be missed. So I, um, just so that it is, I think I cut it down to 3 three by two or three by four I think it's a three by two anyway so that is a lot smaller and it fits a lot bigger and I really like that a lot and so that uh, little uh, bunny uh, do um, doodling card <laughs> journaling card it's also from uh, one of the cut apart sheets from the paper stack as well as this banner that I'm cutting off I use this banner in the 12 by 12 sheet as well so it's a nice link uh, between the two pages and um, yeah and I really like using different sizes of page protectors when I am scrapbooking an event and there is three or four sometimes even five or six uh, page protectors all filled with lots of goodies and um, when I do scrap an event and I like to use different sizes it just spices things up a bit and it you know breaks the monotony of only using 12 by 12 papers so for this, I usually use um, uh, uh, for you um, when I use. Excuse me, I don't know what I'm trying to say. When I use the different size page protectors, I usually stick to the Project Life page protectors, not the memory keeping. Um, uh, we are memory keepers, or something like that. I do ac the actual Project Life page protectors because they are just easy and yeah. <laughs> they are readily available for me here in Dubai in any case I don't have to go looking for them that is why so I am using just my sharpie on my photo there to doodle some lines and I used another pen to doodle some lines around the edges of that um, 6x8 and the 8x10 uh, little bits of paper there um, just to bring in some black the photo is quite dark I didn't want to make the photo black and white because the the little dolly she's holding up has a very nice pink dress on and I didn't want to take that away from all of that and if you look at the photo you can see all the colors in the dollhouse in any case but this is a very pink layout as well so I'm going to be sticking some um, enamel dots from my stash that is a Mambi um, sticker sheet also from my stash with lots of little gold accents on the little heart there and that sticker that, well, that says happy birthday um, no clue where it comes from also from my stash but it's just a sticker sheet that has a whole lot of different happy birthday happy birthdays in some different fonts and here I just go bush with all of <laughs> the embellishing and what I've tried to do with this little bit um, well with this entire event that I'm documenting is basically just putting embellishments down wherever I'm trying to get myself to be a bit more spontaneous and to plan less because I plan a lot and then in the end it doesn't look the way it was supposed to look in my head or I spend too much time planning and not enough time creating or in planning I then don't use as many of the embellishments as I would if I have just if I just stuck them down in any case so I'm trying to use 
I'm trying to spice things up a bit in my scrappy, in my scrappy style. So this is the other side of the page protector, and you'll see that I also stitched that six by eight uh, white cardstock that I cut down there, just stitched around the edges, and I left some threads hanging so that I could just um, add some interest and some texture there. And those uh, gold thickers that I used to spell out Emma, those are from the November kit from Paper Issues called Family Traditions, and it's a um, a, a autumn fall and uh, thanksgiving themed kit but as you can see i'm using it on a birthday layout so don't limit yourself with the things you get in a specific themed kit um you can always use them on different layouts so you can see there that the number four i just scratched on or um, sketched on with some with a black pen and you know that is very loosely done and i really like the way that turned out so i'm going to be coming in with the maggie home sticker sheet now just randomly sticking down lots of little sayings and words and sentiments and things, a little bunny there next to the is. That word is, um, is from a, uh, it's from a little um, alphabet uh, sort of pack that I got from a shop called Typo that we have here and it's wood veneer and it's just lovely and I should be using them actually I should be using more of them actually they are quite cute and they've got loads of the, the, there's some gold glitter ones as well and anyway so I'm just going to be adding my pen to the layout as well just to add some doodly lines and to bring in some more of the black to balance out the black in the four that I scribbled and then that is it for that side of that little layout so now I'm going to be organizing my photos into the page protectors and I've got this really old old D-ring album that is not worthy of holding layouts so I am keeping all my page protectors my pocket page protectors in there and I'm going to be scrapping um, with some We Are Memory Keepers um, page protectors there and um, you see there that I'm just organizing my photos um, how I want you know into different little categories um, you'll see what I mean now so I'm going to be using two of these page protectors so it'll have four sides and that's quite a bit of photos that I'm going to be doing scrapping there. I am going to cut down my photos and then remat my photos on some white cardstock. All these photos are different sizes and I wanted to make them um, as uniform as I could make them you know all, basically all the same size so that the white border around the photo as I'm going to be matting them on cardstock so that that white little border is more or less the same size. Now I get this right um, to a certain extent but not all of the photos because I didn't want to cut off the subject of the photo which is my daughter. So you'll see the page protectors that I'm using there. Um, it has four uh, three by four slots and then one four by six slot and I am just going to be sticking some photos on a four by six white card and then it doesn't even look like a 4x6 slot it um, just goes nicely with the 3x4 layouts that I've got there now I did bake the cake and I'm going to be <laughs> sticking the little word delight there and it was a very nice little cake it was all pink inside with a pink little bunny nose and um, <laughs> everything was super duper uber pink um, with this with this party and this collection is just stunning I love it I'm adding a little bit of yellow there in the birdie that I'm sticking down there some yellow in the photo at the bottom there with the little my little ponies behind my daughter and I'm going to be embellishing each photo by itself now and here you'll see I'm just sticking down that word sweet also from the Maggie home sticker sheet because the cake looks sweet and it tastes really good <laughs> it tasted good there was nothing left of the cake after the party so I assume that it was lovely it was pink inside and pink everywhere and <laughs> I'm doing I'm just drawing a frame around all my photos doing some um, doodly bits on the sides just for some extra interest I didn't want to go embellishment heavy on any of these photos I just wanted to give them some interest and um, make them look interesting so I'm going to be sticking that little happy birthday clear sticker clear gold foil sticker over the bunnies at the back and that just obviously says happy birthday. Going to be adding some uh, enamel hearts and some enamel dots. I wanted to use some of these clear acetate um, uh, photo overlays. And they are from Project Life. I've got no idea from which 
collection they are, from when they are, what year they were made, where I got them. They are in my stash, hence I am using them <laughs> on this layout. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to be using them throughout this, um, throughout the event that I'm documenting. It's just a splash of black that I'm introducing to this, my color scheme. So as you can see, a really basic embellishing on all of the photos and that is it. Wanted to use a little black tab at the top there just to bring some black. I felt that that photo needed an extra little something. Um, and that is it for this layout, I think. Oh, putting a buzzy bee just above the cake there because it's sweet. So obviously it needs a bee. Okay, so here is my second page that I'm going to be doing. Again, cutting down my photos and also arranging my photos in... Um, events or sort of um, what do you call them categories uh, that happened that day the first two the first two photos of family and me and my daughter the second one is of her shoes and the machine that stuffs the little animals and then the third of of I think it's I missed that now but I think the third is of the guests at the party so I'm going to be um, adhering or just fastening or um, that um, clear acetate piece, the overlay, to my photo so that it doesn't slip around. And those shoes, aren't those shoes the cutest thing ever? My daughter picked them out and um, she was clicking around on them throughout the party on the floor of the Builder Bear shop. So she really loved that. That is my husband and my sister-in-law having a big chat there in the photo and that is why I am putting the word favorites on there. And as I said before, I am not trying to hysterically embellish each photo. It is basically just basic embellishments. Now the reason I put a an arrow and a heart in there is because that is where the um that is where you put the heart into your little, into your stuffed animal that you're getting at Builder Bear. And um, it was the sweetest thing. Um, each guest got a heart. And as they were stuffing Emma's teddy, each guest had to put their little heart into Emma's teddy. So Emma's teddy has about 20 hearts inside. And that is the sweetest thing ever. It's very sentimental. And um, I did journal about that um, on the little... 8 by 10 um, layout that I made earlier in the video just to tell that story about everybody's hearts are in there that's why I'm putting all the hearts on the layout there she looked really cute with her bunny ears and um, yeah so I must say this was a really lovely birthday and um, the, you know the guests enjoyed it a lot the kids each took a bear home and it was lovely so if you would like to see more of these stash videos, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon and I'll see you again soon. Bye.